Hello, humans and pets. Today, we eat in rounds. We rounds. Um, so, Snyder, which is the pretzel people who make pretzels, um, they recently, it says new on the day. Uh, We've had these for a little while now. I don't know exactly when so, they came out. Yeah, so it says, have ball with your pretzels. Light and crispy. Uh, the rounds are incredibly de delicious, perfectly pop of all pretzels. Baked each one to perfection to bring a fun new dimension to snack time. I've never really seen them before, but again, we've obviously noticed that I don't pay attention. But uh, I saw these in the store. A, we probably had them about a month in the cabinet now. And with everything else going on, we haven't done it. So I found two different flavors. This one is sea salt. And this one's butter. And that one is butter. So let's do so sea salt. Huh? You want to do sea salt. Why not butter? I don't want the butter yet. It, it the butter? smells like butter. Does it? Let me smell I can smell it without even oh, smelling it. Oh, it is a lot of butter. Yeah, yeah I, I'm washing it. It is, it, is, it is butter. And this one, is it salty? It smells like pretzels. Oh. You know, the thing is with pretzels, is they're boring. You know, I don't mind pretzels. This, they, these are nice. Ooh, that's a nice shape. Though. They're, they're small. They look uh, little balls. Little balls. They, but they're Very only. Tiny. Yeah, they're not big. The thing is, when, when like his mother likes the thin pretzels, and to me they're just boring. Like yeah, they, I like the not, vods. Like I like the, the pretzel vods. The, the pretzel vods are good, nibbling. but I do like the sourdough nibblers because they Those have more good, girth to them. I like the vods. I think the these are gonna be like a sourdough nibbler. This is something you put in trail mix. I have a feeling, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So let's see, I don't mind it. a pretzel every once in a while. I haven't been eating them because I've been trying not to eat this stuff. But if I'm gonna have like a snack, to me usually pretzels are good. With a name like sea salt, I was a little nervous because it can be over salty. But the size of these, I could eat these by the bucket full. Two. They have a nice little salt to them, but they're not salty, like overly salty. They're all right. It's a pretzel. Yeah. I think the these are terrible compared to others. No way. You don't get as much of a crunch. Yeah, but the flavor, space. the flavor. Now pretzels, pretzels don't have flavor. Listen, pretzel rods. Pretzels are just dry. No, pretzel rods taste different than like a pretzel. Like the pretzel sticks. They have a, and this almost has a pretzel rotty taste to me. It's soft. It's not just uber crunchy. That's the issue. No, I yeah. like it. I like it's the almost like a of the rods or of the sticks or regular pretzels or the bat shaped or heart shaped, depending on the holiday. I like every other pretzel. Any one of the pretzel shaped ones that are skinny have kind of, skinny, these have just kind of like crunch. These remind me of like fold. the sourdough nibblers. They have like a hard exterior with a soft interior. I actually like these better than like pretzel sticks. I like them, but my mouth is dry. Mm -hmm. They're pretzels. What do you expect? Oh. They're not sauced. Favorite. I want them to feel like nacho cheese. No, don't get me wrong. Pretzels. The the good thing about the one that we had before, where combos had the stuff inside of it, gave you a secondary flavor. But as far as pretzels go, I like these. I actually like those. Now it's butter time. These are gonna remind me of the other ones from Snyder. No, nah, they smell like it. That's what it's going to remind me of. And after you know what you're getting, like this one says butter, so I'm not going to have a problem with a butter taste. And the other ones that we ate, once I got used to the fact that you're getting smashed in the face with butter, I didn't mind them. But you had to know, oh, you're going to drink, eat butter. Like this. You got butter right off the bat. Not as much. Oh, yeah, you do. Eat one of these. It's going to be more butter compared to these. It's so much more. It's like a straight butter flavor. This is like a nice buttered popcorn. These are actually, I actually like the butter one. It reminds me of like having like a nice buttered popcorn. Because it's not too much. Yeah. Unlike the twist. I didn't mind. You couldn't taste the pretzels, only butter. But. Oh, no. Nope. Oh my goodness. But they 
didn't say butter on it. They had other flavors. These straight up say butter. I have no problem with these whatsoever because you know exactly what you're getting. You're getting buttered flavored Probably pretzels. Like butter. No, they had all different flavored on them. They had like Cajun and, and other flavored. I don't think they had butter on them. Cajun? Uh, whatever it was, it was spice. Uh, whatever the flavors on the other pretzel twists. It was, uh, they had, uh, like the sour cream and onion was one of the flavors. They had different flavors. That one didn't taste like. They all tasted like straight up butter. Remember? Seasoned. Seasoned, I think was the name of it. Yeah, they were different. They had an actual flavor on it. This says butter. Got no problem with it tasting like butter because it's exactly what it says it is. I actually like both of these. And unlike what he's saying, I mean, pretzels are dry, yes. But these aren't like, sometimes you get pretzels and you can't, like they're way too dry. To, the, to me, these aren't bad at all. I actually like these. These are good. I put them in a mix. I put them with like Cheez-Its or something else. Oh, they would be great for something like that. But, but for those, of, some people just like pretzels. You know what I mean? Some people just, they, they're like, that's, they sell millions of pretzels for reasons. People just like that. It, it, it's like a healthier chip, I think. I don't know if it is actually healthy, but it gives you the impression that it's healthier. The, um, I like both of these. Pretzels are the best. Hmm? Gluten-free. I had gluten-free pretzels six months. So good. I don't know. I was really young. I don't so know. So good. I actually think I, I might even prefer the butter over the regular, just because it has, it really has a nice buttery popcorn-y flavor. Light and crispy. Everything on this bag is exactly what it is. To me, I like it, because the little sticks, to me, are just too dry. I like them, but they're not my go-to pretzel. I think these are one. more dry than the sticks. No, I don't think so, not at but all. But they taste better. I don't think they're drier than them at all. They're, they're a cross between... The crunch of the stick and the softness of a sourdough nibbler. Because a sourdough nibbler's got more of that fluffy airness on the inside. Mm -hmm. And then these are kind of like an in-between. I don't think the crunch on the outside is nearly as much as most pretzels. I think it's nice and soft. Just like an outside coating, almost like an M&M coating. Mm -hmm. I really like them. They're good. I, I mean... I, I, I could, I could get in trouble, trouble with all this stuff. I could get in trouble with these. These are perfect for like making a snack mix. I, I agree with that because they're just the right size. Snack mix wants to, you know, pair up with Snyder's. That'd be good. But it reminds me of the cheese at snack mix pretzels. Well, in that because they're nice round little balls, like they just would go with anything. You know what I mean? When you mix in anything with it, um, I, I actually like both of these. So. I always want to get checks and then make a checks mix with it. Yep. Like my own flavor. I've never bought check cereal in my life. Yeah. But I think it would be good. I don't know. Well, yeah, these are actually good. I like them. I'm trying to decide. These are a little more salty. That's why I think I like the butter one better because it's just straight. Nice butter flavor. Keep the salt or butter. Yeah. I kind of like that they left them traditional too because Snyder's already makes the buffalo wing and the. I wish they had buffalo wings for these. Well, you have, you do, they do the the other pretzels, but they don't have the rounds. Yeah. And they may come out with that, but they have they they're the ones that make the ones the buffalo ones you like. I don't know if I'd want them too because those are so good. I like the crisp and crunchiness of the pretzel. The pretzel uh, yeah. I don't want a pretzel that's soft. If I want a soft pretzel, I need a soft pretzel. I, I actually prefer them. That's what I kind of so, like about the pretzel rods. It's, it gives you more Pretzel air. rods are crunch. They are. But pretzel rods don't taste like regular pretzels to me. They have a different flavor. They do. I don't know what it is. Although I also think... The sourdough nibble is definitely taste different than the sticks. Like it's, yeah. it's something with the air that's in it. And I think the pretzel rods have that different, it's a different texture to me because it's more of a, I don't know how to describe it. 
it definitely is a whole different taste if you have a regular pretzel and a pretzel rod. It mm -hmm. doesn't taste the same. Yeah. I know you rolled your eyes at me, but it really doesn't taste the same. Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you agree with me. Or if I'm out of lunch. Do the pretzel out of lunch. Out to lunch, if, if I'm totally wrong. But pretzel rods, I haven't had them in a lot of years. But pretzel rods do not taste like any other pretzel. It has a distinct flavor. That pretzel rods are my favorite. I think they're everybody's favorite. They're his favorite because they're, they were the forbidden fruit. Because if you haven't noticed watching him eat, he has a hard time sticking things in his mouth and not dropping them everywhere. Mm. Pretzel rods when he was a kid were a recipe for disaster. They were just going everywhere. He couldn't just stick it in his mouth. He's breaking it everywhere. And so they, they, we never bought them. They were like, they're like the forbidden food for him. What do you mean? You are messy. I don't miss my mouth. And you were so messy when you were a kid. Just really? We should go see his brand new car seat in his car. It's just filled with food. Hey. And, to be fair, I only dropped one today of these. They're tiny. You, you should throw them in your face. Um, I think that's why he likes pretzel rods. I, I like can't remember rods. the last time we actually bought pretzel rods. Uh, since I was like two. That's what I mean. Since the first time you made an absolute disaster out of them. I don't think we got them ever since. No. But overall, I highly recommend both of these flavors. Uh, because when you see sea salt, I was nervous right off the bat because sometimes they just hammer with it and it just way well, too salty. Well, you can't salty. put a lot of salt on those. That's, That's so I think, tiny. the best part about it. They're so little. They only hold a little bit of But the salt flavor is like really in it. I think it perfect texture. I like everything about it. Give these a try. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think because uh, I'm giving these two big thumbs up for pretzels. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, they've been America's pretzel bakery since 1909. And I, the more I eat still these, new stuff, and I'm trying so. not to even eat carb stuff. The more I eat these, these are like addictive. I can't stop eating them. They're, but they have like the perfect texture to me. I've stopped. I'm done. I've eaten enough. Not because you were full before you even started. Well, yeah. But overall, um, yeah. I definitely recommend, and as much as we complained about Snyder's and the butter, I 100% recommend the butter one because it tastes like a nice little buttered popcorn, but it's exactly what it says on the label. It's butter. I don't know if I, I wouldn't even recommend these. It's just a pretzel in a different shape and softer. It's, so it doesn't it, taste it, the same as the sticks. It, but it's softer, and I, I want to crunch when I'm eating a pretzel. So If you're a pretzel person leave a, and try these, Give me a, leave a comment down below if you like them. To me personally, because I'm not a huge fan of the pretzel sticks, I'll eat them. But to me, they always seem way drier and they don't seem as tasty. These to me, I'm soft, they're light, they're fluffy. I could eat them out of handfuls. I think these are these are they're these soft, are delicious. they're light, they're fluffy, and they're yeah. dry. Pretzels are dry, Ryan. You're not gonna get them wrong. Pretzel yet. bread is so good. And the rods aren't that dry. So Oh they are. We'll have to get pretzel rods. We'll have to see. get pretzel rods. That they're exactly what I'm saying. They, they don't taste the same. They are good though. They are good, and as a kid, I always liked them because I would sit there like I had a cigar in my mouth, and I would like it would last me forever to eat a pretzel rod because I would like suck on it like it was like a you know you would eat a cigar, you know like and, and then you take the bite and you put it back in your mouth for a while. I would make it last. So one pretzel rod was like a snack for like ten minutes, you know, because <laughs> you could just wait on it. But some rods they give you like three in a case. It seems like mm -hmm. they always seem more expensive than everything else. For pretzels. Um, I haven't bought them in so long. I don't even know. We'll have to go get them. Get I know them. they have the case. I'm, I'm looking at it in my head. They always have the case on the bottom shelf at Walmart. And it's yeah. like a... It's a jar. It's pretzel. like a jar. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have to get some and try some, I guess. But... All right. Well, leave a comment down below if you've tried these or... Uh, if you want to or... I, I, if you're a pretzel person, I highly recommend both of these. Highly are you recommend. A, that's the comment of the day. Do you like pretzels? Like, are you, they your go-to snack, or it's just, uh, you know, I'll take one if they're there, and I'll dip it in something, since they're so dry. That's the only drawback of these. Like, a pretzel, you can actually dip in, like, onion dip or something. There ain't no dip in any of these. No. You're eating these. Um, and they're dry. But I can't stop eating them. They're actually really good. They're not dry. 
They're, they're pretzel dry. No. Yeah. No. They're no. not. They're not. Don't dry. try them for yourself, and then leave a comment if they're dry or not. That's what you should do. It's not any drier than any pretzel you've ever eaten. That's why right. you can't I say these are the dry. Most dry pretzel I've ever I mean, had. I think you're crazy. Um. I I don't know. Uh, go try them, and subscribe while you're at it. There you go. Should they subscribe first? Um. These would be delicious with a nice, after, nice, then you know I'm right. A nice and glass of whiskey, subscribe. some pretzels. Oh, I'm in heaven right there. Why like, pretzels? Why not? Nice little salty, happy pretzels that because you, you cleanse your palate and you. Because oh. it's pretzels. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go get a glass. <laughs> there you go. There is our Snyder's Rounds review. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend them. I, I think they're delicious. I think they're delicious. But what they are, because they're not flavored, well, they're buttered and sea salt. It's they're, not, they didn't try to change the flavor. What they the are, they're bad. Oh, no, I think, I, yeah. It's the worst pretzel I've ever had. Definitely, please leave a comment down below if you try them. Do you agree with Ryan? They're bad. Do you agree with me? They're delicious. Because I don't, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any happy pretzel. medium. I bet Uncle Michael would agree with you because he's not a pretzel person. But I bet Annie Brenda would love both of these. I'm not a pretzel person, but these are the worst. Leave a comment and hope you enjoyed the video.